It's the work that um, represented New Zealand at the Venice Biennale until November of last year. So it's really wonderful to bring it to Perth because this is its first outing in, in Australia. It was kind of um, fascinating for me to watch the Biennale, kind of all these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people trying to bring their own significant artworks together, all to open at the same time and the same day um, in another country. It's set around this French scenic wallpaper called Les Sauvages de la Mer Pacifique. I'm of uh, mixed descent, I'm Maori on my father's side and British on my mother, mother's side, I really wanted to look at these moments of um, first encounter, but I also wanted to show it um, from the, an indigenous perspective. This work has been um, occupying my mind for many years. I first saw the wallpaper in um, Canberra probably about 10 years ago now. So it's been an amazing project to work on because I get to work with many, many people. Um, I work with my partner, James, who's um, an audio engineer and a musician. We found all sorts of different types of sounds that we could actually use. Māori instruments, which are called taonga puro, that were collected on Cook's voyage. When we had a connection um, confirmed with the Royal Society in London, they let us know that they actually had the clock that was on Cook's voyages. Uh, I believe only the first voyage. Um, this chronometer was a beautiful, not ornate at all, but a very beautiful clock um, in the Royal Society Library. So I recorded the sound of that ticking and then they asked Lisa if she would actually wind the clock, so we've got the sound of the clock being wound. Now, conceptually, I think this is a really brilliant um, you know, addition to the soundtrack because it actually transports you to the time through sound, uh, as do the Māori instruments. So there was a really lovely confluence there, in my opinion. The show was going to be part of Oceania, which is um, opening at the Royal Academy for their autumn or their autumn show, yes, in September. Being able to take this particular work back to the English, who sent Cook over in the first place, and um, it'll be really interesting to see what kind of um, questions and stories that come out of that relationship. Oh, mm -hmm.